enjoy your first workout with me uh, we we'll do another one today if you have some weights small weights at home just use them uh, i have two two pounds each uh, it means one kilogram each if you have them take them for the workout if not it doesn't it doesn't matter we can do it out but make sure i don't want to see any plastic water bottle that's bad don't do that to me guys so we'll start sitting down, uh, place your weights just next to you, we'll do them later on the move. So sitting down, feet uh, open hip distance apart, knees bent, wrap the back of your thigh. We we'll start with the flat back or at least like a neutral spine, make sure your chest is open, white color bones, crown of the head is reaching towards the ceiling. We inhale to prepare the next time, we pull the abs towards the spine, we round the lower back and we lean back. We keep holding the thigh. Inhale when we are down, exhale curling back, keep the C shape and we stack open the chest. Inhale to the top, exhale, curl down. Inhale, exhale back up. Inhale, exhale, curling the lower back. Inhale, exhale, curl back up, keep the C shape, we stack. Two more. Inhale, exhale. One more, and curl, inhale, exhale back up, and we will stack. Now we'll do the same thing, but the arms will be just by your side, front facing each other. You don't use your thigh anymore, so it'll be a little bit harder. Exhale, curl, inhale, exhale back up, and we we'll stack. And curl the lower back, keep the abs on. Release into your rib cage. Exhale. We stack. Exhale. Exhale. We stack. Two more. Exhale. Exhale. Back up. Last one. And exhale. Back up. Wrap your weight, if you don't have the weight, just like that and you, you, you will work the arms any, anyway. So we'll start curling, leaning back and stop just halfway down. Don't go too far down because we'll stay in this position to so make sure you can hold it. So you still curl, you lean back, keep the arms parallel to the floor and we reach the right, the right arm up and down. C shape, keep your abs on and keep the shoulders down. Exhale. Try to bring your arm just over the shoulder, keeping the shoulder down. And one more each side. Now we will open the right arm to the side, keeping the left arm reaching forward, and exhale, back to the center. Inhale, open, exhale, back center. Open, keep the, the hands just in line with the shoulder, and back center. So same edge on the shoulder, and you stop when your hand is just in line with the shoulder. Inhale to open, exhale. No rotation in the truck, keep your C-shape, stay down. Much side. Exhale. One more each side. And exhale. Keep the abs on. Exhale. Good. Relax here. We we'll set your shoulders. We we'll open the two arms to the side. And center. the abs on. And two more. Last one. 
and set a good one. It opens the arms towards the, the ceiling, so palms facing up. Keep the upper arms parallel to the floor and bend the elbows. And straighten. And bend. And straighten. Good. Make sure that you are not dropping the upper arms. Keep the elbows in line with the shoulders. Two more. And last one. Good. Now rotate the arms back for the, for the palms to face down and we bend the elbows and straighten. Bend the elbow, bring the, bring the elbows just in line with the shoulders and reach. And reach. Palms facing down. That's the last move. Two more. Last one. Good. And come back up. And release the tension in the shoulders and the arms. We can let go of the weight. We bring them just next to us. Wrap the back of your thigh. Make sure you have space behind you. And we we'll roll all the way back down. Keep your knees bent. Keep your feet down on the floor. And bring your arms by your sides. Put palms facing down. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Think about your two shoulder blades pressing down into the, into the mat to make sure you keep your ribcage braced. We don't want to open the ribcage. We keep the ribcage braced and down. And we want to make sure the lower part of your ribcage is also pressing down into the, into the mat. Pull your heels towards you to engage your hamstrings and make sure your knees are just open hip distance apart. On an exhale, we start imprinting the lower back into the, into the mat and start peeling the back of the mat, one vertebra at a time, reaching the knees forward, re reaching the hips towards the ceiling. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll back down. So articulation of the spine to start the workout. Should feel good. Inhale at the bottom, exhale. First imprint the lower back. Try to find your range of motion, the articulation in your lower back first. And reach up. Inhale. Down. Try to keep the pull of the, of the heels toward your, your glutes to make sure your hamstrings are always on. And exhale. Drain the articulation. Press your arms into the mat to help lift. And exhale down. And again, exhale. Inhale. And exhale down. And last one, exhale, articulate up, reach the knees forward, find the opening here, inhale, exhale, roll back down, starting from the chest down, and move back, and lower back. Now open your arms in a T position, palms facing up, rub your abs in, bring one leg up to tabletop, so remember tabletop position, the knees just in line with your hips, so just over the hip and your shins are parallel to the floor. Bring your knees and feet together, squeeze the inner thigh together, inhale, you rotate just underneath the ribcage, lowering the lower part of your body towards the left side. So my right hip really just to make sure I keep the stack of the hips, and on an exhale, squeezing my legs together, I bring everything back to the center. So you should feel the sides of your abs, the obliques, to exhale, lift. Inhale, I lower towards the left side and make sure my right shoulder blade stays on the, on the floor. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one towards the right side. And exhale. We go back down on the left side. We lower down, we stay down, we extend the top leg up. We keep the two and inner thigh together, two, two knees are together. And exhale, we squeeze. We Come back to the center and we bend to tabletop. Lower towards the right side, extend the left leg up and squeeze center and bend. Inhale, exhale, and table. Extend, squeeze inner side, squeeze the knees and center. One more each side. Inhale, we lower, we extend the top leg up, we squeeze the knees, we squeeze the inner side and center. Last one. Exhale, center. And bend. Good. Now bring your feet back down on the floor. Open your, hip, your, knee, your knees and your feet back to hip distance apart. 
Interlace your fingers, bring your hands behind the head. Make sure your lower abs are on. We don't want to go into the lower back. Abs are on, we are in a neutral lower back. On an exhale, we will curl the head and chest up. Inhale, we go down. Exhale, lifting. Inhale, down. Make sure you keep pressing your head into your hands. We don't want to lift from the neck, we want to lift from the abs. And Exhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Down. Straight back up. So lifting your head and chest up. Let go of your left hand. Bring it towards the right knee. You keep the, the right hand behind your, behind your head. You keep pressing your head into this hand. And you keep the elbow open. On an exhale, we go into the rotation and we, we walk the fingers towards the cap. Inhale, back to the center, stay lifted. So keep your, your ribcage lifted. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, down. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Last one. Stay lifted, bring the, the left hand behind your head, let go of your right hand. Fingers towards the kneecap on the left side, exhale, rotate. And down. Exhale. So make sure here when you go into the rotation, you're not rotating your hips. So I don't want to see any movement in the knees or in the hips. It's only the top part of your trunk lifting up. Think about elevating your rib cage. Just underneath the rib cage. As on And last one, come back to the center, bring your right hand behind your head until it's your finger stay lifted and we go into rotation, alternating, alternating the side. Exhale, rotate to right to, to the right side and inhale, exhale. And right, exhale. Good. And one more each side, right, and left, and center, go the head and chest down. Take a breath here, mm -hmm. bring your arms by your sides, adjust your spine, release the tension in the abs. Keep the palms of the, of the hands pressing down into the mat, flat. Make sure your shoulders are down, collarbones are wide. We bring the legs back up to tabletop position, one at a time, so make sure your abs are on. And we we'll bring the feet into a V position, so heels together, toes apart. Knees open slightly to the side, so we are on an external rotation in the thigh. And on an exhale, keeping the squeeze on the heels, keeping the head and chest down, we press out, we extend the legs. Inhale, we, back, we come back in. Exhale, we press up, you squeeze. Inhale. So find the squeeze in, your, in the, full, the, inside, the full inside of your legs. From the hips all the way down to the heels. Squeeze and bend. Exhale, squeeze. And bend. Your feet are flexed, so your toes are towards the knees. And bend. Exhale. Just to engage the back of your legs. And last one, you exhale. You stay out there and we hold for five. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, and one. Bend back in. Keep your legs here in tabletop position. Interlace your fingers, bring your hands behind the head. Curl the head and chest up. So same position with the feet and the legs. Feet are in a V. Heels together, toes apart, and legs into a, into a tabletop. We exhale, we press up. We do the same movement, but this time we hold the head and chest up, face lifted. Exhale. And down. Exhale. Squeeze. Don't forget to squeeze when you're out. Squeeze in your thigh, working here. Bend in, exhale. Exhale. Make sure when you press out, we try to keep the heels parallel to the floor. So we don't want to exhale and lift here. There's no work or not enough. We press, we keep the heel on the parallel line with the floor. So we open more from the hips than from the knees. Exhale. And last one, we press out. We stay up and we hold for five. 
four, three, two, and one, bend back in. Towards the head and chest down, bring your feet down on the floor, keeping the knees bent. Bring your arms back to the side, palms facing down, and keep your knees open, hip distance apart. Pull your heels towards your glutes, again, to engage your hamstrings. And on the next side, we will lift the hips straight up towards the ceiling. So no articulation of the spine this time. We use the glutes, we use the hamstrings. So first hamstrings are on, and on the next side, we lift up, we squeeze the glutes. Inhale, we touch down. Exhale, squeeze, and down. Exhale. Squeeze the glutes, keep your hamstrings on. And two more. Last one. And all the way down. Now bring your knees and feet together. Bring your right leg up to table to a position. You will keep this right leg to table. Your left heel is pulling toward your glutes to engage your hamstring. And we lift straight up. So single leg bridge, we lift straight up. And touch down. And straight up. And down. Keep the two hips parallel. Exhale. And keep the engagement in the hamstrings in the, in the left side. Exhale. Two more. And last one. You bring your hips down. Bring your right foot down. Now make sure your right heel is, is pulling toward your, your right glutes and bring your left leg to tabletop position. Keep the engagement in the hamstrings. Straight up. Lift the hips straight up and down. Exhale. Exhale. So you should feel your hamstrings and you should feel your glutes. Exhale. Exhale. Two more. And last one. And down. Bring your foot down. Extend your legs all the way flat on the mat. Open your arms in a T position, palms facing up. Good, and align with the shoulders, making sure again your ribcage is braced, so think about, the, uh, of, think about the lower part of your ribcage in your back, pressing into the, into the mat, collarbones are wide, bring your right leg up to tabletop position. Extend this leg all the way up towards the ceiling, so straight leg. On an inhale, we bring the leg across the body, and on an exhale, we go down and round, lifting back up. The other leg, the left leg, is pressing down into the mat, it's here to stabilize your body too. So make sure you don't lose the strength and the stability in your left leg. We keep the hips stable. So that we don't want to go here. Keep the abs, keep the hips and the pelvis stable. And we move the leg into the hip joint. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Stay up here, we reverse the circle. So we inhale to open the leg to the side and we exhale to go down and around, lifting back up. Inhale and exhale. So find your range of motion in your hip joint today. Think about moving the thigh bone into your hip joint. And inhale, exhale, use the breath. Last one. And bend to table, bring your foot down, extend this leg all the way flat. Now the right leg is pressing down into the mat, stabilizing the body, bring your left leg up to table, extend this leg up to the ceiling. Inhale, we bring the leg across the body, exhale, we go down and around. Inhale. Keep the two hips down, stable. Last one. We stay up here and we reverse. Inhale, open to the side, exhale, down and around. Exhale. Keep, use your arms to, to stabilize. And one more. Now reach your arms overhead, reach your legs forward. Take a stretch here. Change the arms and legs of this direction. Make sure your shoulders are down. Back down away from the ears. Your ribcage is back on and legs are together, squeezing together. 
we go into the roll up, we did this move already last time, we inhale to close the head and chest up to the shoulder blade, on an exhale we roll all the way up, so we keep a C shape in the body here, we don't collapse, we keep the shoulders all, uh, just over the, the hips, inhale, exhale, hold down. your legs, you very the legs forward that we help you find the lift, use your abs, exhale down, squeeze the legs together, and one more, we will stay up, inhale, exhale, we stay up here, we make sure here, um, you have a little space behind you, you will find balance point between your tailbone and your seat bones, bring your legs up to tabletop position here, Bring uh, your knees and feet together. You keep the shins parallel to the floor. Keep your hands behind the thigh. We curl the lower back. We lean back. We extend the, the, leg, the arms. Sorry. Exhale, lifting back up. The legs are not moving, only the trunk. Curling, leaning back. Exhale, back up. Keep the C shape and find the flat back. Do it like we did at the beginning with the feet down on the floor. This time we do it with the legs still top. And last one. And back up. Stay on your balance point. Bring your arms by your side now to the leg of the thigh. Palms are facing each other. We move only the legs now. So make sure you, you have a nice open chest here. Keep the trunk stable. On an inhale, we lower the leg down, keeping the 90 degree angle at the, at the, leg, at the knees. So we lower the thigh and we lift the arms up. Exhale back up, inhale lower the thigh, touch your feet down, exhale back up, keep the trunk stable, exhale, exhale, two more, last one, and back up with your feet down. We lay down now on the thighs. Um, so for that, use um, the back of your mat to align your body. So we will be laying down on one side of your body, arm down, head down on your bicep. So we start on the right side. Make sure your two hips are tack on top of each other. So make sure you're not collapsing on this side here. Press your top hip in line with the bottom hip. You have a little bit of space between uh, the mat and your right side. Right side. Make sure the palm is facing up, feet are together, the legs are parallel, so there's no external rotation here. We don't want to use the thigh to stabilize. The two knees are facing forward. The other hand, the top hand is either the top arm is either here on your thigh or top hand down on the floor and the figure tip just for balance. Make sure the shoulder is away from the here. On the next are keeping the legs together, we reach the legs and we lift. Inhale down. Exhale, reach and lift. Use the side of your body. Use the obliques to lift the legs. Exhale, reach and lift. And down. And reach and lift. And down. Make sure you keep the shoulder down. Think about sliding the shoulder blade down towards the, your glutes on the, on the back to make sure you don't use your shoulder to lift. You don't put any tension here on your shoulders. And lift. Exhale. Two more. Last one. And we're all the way down. Now keep the bottom leg down on the floor. Make sure again you don't go into any external position. So the knee is just facing up. Keep reaching and pointing the foot on the on the lower leg. On the next one we lift the top leg up and we go down. And we lift and go down. So we want to find the glutes. We don't want to Go as high as we can with uh, as high as we can with um, and losing the, the stack of the hips. So make sure you keep the stack. You go as high as you can, keeping the stack of the of the hips. Exhale. 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 Two more. Last one. Lower your your top leg just to hip high, and this time we we'll lift the bottom leg to meet the top leg up. And down. So it's a full bottom leg lifting up. We don't want to lift only the foot. 
we don't we want to leave from the lower abs all the way down to the to the toes to the heels and toes so you feel the inner side working exhale don't let go of the of your abs your abs are still active here exhale and engage exhale and last one lower the legs the two legs all the way down now you will bend your bottom your top knee sorry up bringing your foot down either on the floor in front of you you can hold your ankle here if you if you're okay if you're fine here you can also go here that's totally fine too if your knee is down make sure just make sure that the knee stays in line with your with your feet so we go here i will hold my my ankle here i will flex my bottom leg and we lift the bottom leg up and down so we want to focus on the inner thigh here exhale Flexing the foot will help um, get the back of the leg too. Exhale. Exhale. And keep your core engaged. It's easy to let go of the abs here because we are on the side and we focus on the leg, but the inner core is still engaged. We stay up on this one, we point the foot and we go into small circles, one action. So we go out and get back and circle, back and circle, small circles. Making sure again we do it with the full leg, not just the ankle, not just the foot at the ankle. We keep the ankle, uh, the foot pointing. Exhale. And reverse the circle, forward and back. And forward, back and back. Exhale. Eight, nine, and ten. Lower the leg all the way down. We go to the other side now, so switch the legs. Lay down on the other side, use the back of your mat again to help you find the line in your body. So the hips are in line with the shoulders and in line with the feet. Lower your head down on your bicep, palm is facing up. And make sure your two hips are stacked, two feet are stacked, knees facing forward. Front, uh, top hand in front for support on the fingertips or on the side. Exhale, lift the legs and down. Reach and lift. Keep the top shoulder down. Exhale. Exhale. Last one. And all the way down. Keep your bottom leg down, making sure the knee is facing up. And you use the top leg. And you go down. So lift, keeping the two hips stacked. The movement in the hips here. Make sure you're still engaged in the core. Make sure your left side is on so you're not collapsing on the mat. Exhale. And last one, lower the top leg just a bit high and leave the bottom leg to meet the top leg. And down. Exhale. Release the tension in the top shoulder. Two more. And last one. Lower the two legs down. Bend your top knee. Bring your foot in front here or again down here with the knee just in line with the hip. And hold your ankle if you need to. Bottom, leg, uh, bottom foot flexed. We lift the bottom leg up. And then we go down. And we lift up. And down. Keep the foot flexed. So as high as you can, you should feel on your thigh and the glutes. And last one, stay up, point your foot and go into small circle. We start going forward and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and reverse. One, two. And your two legs. We'll flip on the on the belly now. We got the forearms, fingers interlaced. Make sure here um, that you keep your elbows just leaving in front of your shoulders. Fingers interlaced, 
strong on, the, on your forearm, make sure you're not collapsing between your shoulders, you're up, the abs are pulling in, we are not pressing the, the belly into the, into the mat here. So legs are open, just keep this sense of force and you reach your legs so much so that your thigh are a little bit off the mat here. We'll bend at the knee, starting from the right side, bringing the heel closer to the, to the glutes. So we don't want to lose the opening here, we don't want to bend at the hip. Think more about bringing, using your hamstring to bring your, your heel toward your glutes. And we pulse twice, so bringing the heel a little bit closer each time. And one, two, and extend. And go to the left side. Flex, midpoint, and reach the pulse. <laughs> and bend and pulse. One, two, and extend. And then pulse. So we exhale and inhale to extend. Exhale to bend and pulse. Inhale. Exhale. And down. Exhale. Keep your chest open. Make sure your eyes are on. And one more each side. Pulse. And last one. And down. Lift back up. Go down on your heels, so bending the, keeping the knees down, bringing your hips towards the heels, and reach forward. Taking a break here to finish up the workout, letting out of the tension, reverting the reboot in the body. And then lifting back up. Good job. You're done for your workout again today.